snip, snap, clickety clack. Are you all right? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Nice. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Fuck that, man. We're checking up here full time. Find a way in. Alright. I mean, the house is for sale, so inevitably somebody will be by. Trying to show it off, or renovate it, or God knows what. But you know what? If that happens, we'll just beat them up. With my superior android kung fu skills. Which androids don't actually seem to have. Which is actually kind of depressing to me. I understand it, but I wish it wasn't that way. <laughs> I don't even have the strength to rip that freaking board off. Are you kidding me? Huh? Just kick it. Alice? It Alice! Huh? Kid. What are you doing? Where... Where would she even go? She didn't go back through the fence herself, did she? The fuck? Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors. They're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. Uh. She's just a little girl. She's not gonna hurt you. Little girl. She's not a little girl. Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe she wants to hurt Ralph. I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans want to hurt us. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. We thought nobody was here. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look. What they did to Ralph. You have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Okay. We'll just stay the night. <laughs> come on. This was a super bad idea. Come, come, come on. This way. Ralph has lived here since he ran away. Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. Humans come in to squat from time to time, but. You know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> what if I just didn't do this? What if I immediately regretted that decision and I just decided to come back over here to the fence? Come on. Uh, I guess I'm committed, guys. <laughs> okay, Ralph. Please do not murder us in our sleep or do something even worse. at home here. Ralph is going to go into the other room. He would like to stay with you. But he has things to do. It's just for one night, Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. Right. Let's see where you can sleep. 
Sit down and I'll start a fire. Start a fire and make a bed. Okay. Well, I'm not particularly happy with where we've ended up here. <laughs> it seems like every decision or every like option we had ended up being like not a good option. Find matches and collect wood. Oh, maybe Ralph has some of this stuff. I don't know, guys. What we got here? Hey! These look pretty comfy. Place bed near fireplace. Okay. I really hope it doesn't bring people running when we start a fire in here. It's an abandoned house. Somebody walking by could be like, oh, there's obviously a fire going on in this abandoned house. I should probably call the police. What do we got here? Yeah, matches. All right, so now we just need wood and a blanket. Hi, Ralph. I am alive. I am alive. Wait, that's the same thing that was written over Carlos's dead body. I am alive. We never got to really ask him about that, why he would write that. The android who killed Carlos. RA9. What does that mean? What? Those symbols. Why are you writing that? I don't know. I don't know. Cool. This is totally cool. Not at all dangerous. Tell you what, buddy, I'm just gonna leave you to your RA9. I am alive. Wish I could close the door. Lock it. Um, I am totally stuck right here. Because the pillows are on the ground, I guess. <laughs> uh, Alright. Probably have to go upstairs to find the rest of this stuff. Alice, you be good. Don't move or say a word. And Ralph will probably not murder you. Guess there's not much going on in this place. Well, there's some dry wood. That's probably not the best stuff to use to make a fire. And, um... It appears I can't even pick it up anyway. Okay. Can I look out the window just for a second? Scope the area out. Doesn't look like any cops were on the way, so... Yay for that. Here we go. There's stuff in here we can use. Well, it's a freaking blanket right there. Why can't I pick any of this stuff up? What does that say? It's very difficult to read. Cove? Something Cove, I think. It's so dark in here. This camera sucks. Right, R2. No objectives up here. Really? Or am I just not close enough to them? Alright. Well, let's go back downstairs then. Ugh. Is that a bear? Somebody put, like, lipstick and all kinds of weird paint over? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, this piece right here. This is gonna work. Alright, let's get this damn fire going at least. You can come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. Right. So, should we still go try and find her a blanket? That was one of them, wasn't it? Set up for the night. Alright, let's just talk to her. He ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Can we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. Sure, kid. I promise. Will we be together forever? Eh, probably not, but sure. Forever. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. I guess she'd like it if we slept with her, right? Like, like, you know, as not like, God damn it. You know what I mean? Well, we're scoring points with this kid. I guess we were able to sleep through the night and not get murdered, so... In that regard, I guess we did okay. Alice and Kara stayed in the squat. Yeah. Alright, that's good. So we met Ralph. That unlocked some things. There's a lot of different ways this could have went, guys. We stole the wire cutters. We left the chocolate. We left the toy. Damn, these trees are so massive, though. Look at all this. Alright, well, as long as we get to the end, I guess. And we're still alive. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on? Wait, is this Marcus? This is creepy, guys. Corrupted audio data. All systems in low power mode.
left and right leg components are missing, so we cannot stand. Well, we're not going to get very far like that. Oh yeah, we already got that. And impaired vision. Yeah, wonder how that happened. Oh my god, guys, this is some real Terminator shit right here. This is wigging me out for real. I'm not okay with this. Right, like compatible. <laughs> you guys don't get it. This isn't a mud hole, it's an operating table, and I'm the surgeon. Oh, I'm so happy I actually got to use that quote in a context that actually makes perfect sense. If you don't know where that's from, you should go watch or read The Dark Knight Returns. One of my favorite Batman stories. It always takes me like two or three tries to get that motion control flick down. It doesn't always work the first time I do it. I feel like freaking Anakin Skywalker right now. I hate you! Alright, found a good left leg. Oh, there's a dude behind me who's like moving. What the fuck? Am I really just in like an android scrapyard right now? Where they just throw all the dead androids? They don't even, like, recycle them or anything like that. It's just a giant android dump. Wow. Could you please not talk to me? Because you're creepy as shit. How do they not even make sure that they're completely deactivated before they throw them out? This doesn't make any sense. Oh, come on. This is the stuff in nightmares. Ah, imagine doing this in VR. Where are you going, dude? You know, I think this guy actually is dead and deactivated. I think I'm in Android Hell now. Find optical unit, pump regulator, audio processor. We're going to have to repair ourselves from scratch. Damn. This is really unsettling, guys. It's kind of awesome, though. Okay, forget that idea. I mean, if you ask for it. Oh, 
Wait, is it really that easy to kill an android? He couldn't do that to himself? Maybe it goes against android programming, but that seems like some crap to me. Alright, I haven't found anything yet. Do I have my R2? Oh, it's pretty jacked up. Pretty jacked up. Damn it, nothing's compatible. Great. Where am I supposed to find compatible things? Ah! My forehead light is just constantly red. I'm in so much distress right now, guys. Alright, can't look at him. Hey, you look like a fully functioning thing, mostly. Maybe you have some parts I could borrow from you, pal? Maybe? Or not? Alright. Just keep on moving. Alright, we're not going to be able to climb until we replace all our damaged parts. But this is proving much more difficult than I anticipated that it would. Hey! There we go, finally! Give me that shit. Whoa, isn't this what killed the other dude? I guess I'm still good. Really interesting that he has what appears to be a beating heart inside his chest, guys. Did you pick up on that? I guess they made android architecture very similar to human architecture. Which kind of makes sense, you know? We build what we know. Hey! Audio processor! Nice! That's... Two out of three parts, guys. Give me that. Whew! That's a lot better. Alright, last up is an optical unit. Now it's very noisy. But better than the static, crackly discharge that we've been enduring up till now, I guess. Seems much less scary now, too. Honestly. Okay, which ones haven't I checked yet? These all look the same to me. There's gotta be one somewhere. Here we go, I bet this is it. Yeah! Give it. Oh! Hey, fresh android parts. <laughs> if I need anything else, now's probably the time. Alright, now we're looking good, guys. Condition is stabilized. We're back in the yellow. Now, we may be able to climb out of here. If we're lucky. 
Is this the slope over here we're supposed to climb? I don't know what we're going to do when we get out of here. Vengeance. Swift vengeance on those who have wronged us. Uh... Some very hopeful music. Everybody's trying to climb out, but I'm the one who's going to make it. That was some shit straight out of Shawshank Redemption, guys. What is going on? Oh! What? Did I just rip off my android thingy? Why is that even possible? Now nobody will know that I am robotic. I shall live amongst the humans, and I shall learn from them. And I shall be Marcus. And in time, my retribution will be swift and violent. That was crazy, guys. That was actually a really haunting scene. As kind of dumb as it was there at the end with like, I'm just going to rip off my android light thingy and then go be a dude named Marcus um the, most of the stuff leading up to that was like whoa this is actually pretty cool not a lot of variation android begs to die we can either let him live or kill him apparently you guys know what I picked because I just did it so yeah wow okay so Marcus is back in the picture I'm pretty sure Connor is dead and Kara and Alice are staying in an abandoned house for the night but they'll probably be okay come morning and I don't know where this story is going to go from here guys this is pretty Pretty weird, but pretty good at the same time. I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I am going to take a break for now. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it, and I love you guys. Come back soon for more Detroit Become Human with Dude Long Couch. See you then.